Welcome to the launch of the Bajaj Pulsar N160. This is the first time Bajaj has launched a motorcycle from Kolkata and it's a product that competes in the very saturated and competitive segment of the 150cc commuters. This is the first motorcycle in this segment to offer dual channel ABS as optional on the top spec variant and the base variant has a single channel ABS. Along with that, the dual channel ABS version gets a 300mm disc up front with two piston calipers. We have tested these brakes on the N250 and we were very impressed. So on the smaller capacity motorcycle, it should provide better braking performance. The N160 comes with a 165cc twin valve oil cooled engine which produces 16 PS of power and 14.65 Newton meters of torque. The motorcycle comes with 37mm conventional telescope scopic forks up front and a monoshock at the rear. In this segment, only the Hornet 2.0 comes with an upside down telescopic fork and has great handling but it misses out on the dual channel ABS and is pricey by quite a lot. Styling wise, the N160 carries over the entire design of the N250 with projector headlamps and DRLs with minimalistic GFN plastic body panels. The all blacked engine block and the underbelly exhaust are new though. The tire sizes are same as N250 with a 100mm wide tire up front and a 130 section wide tire at the back. Priced at a very competitive 1.26 lakhs ex showroom Kolkata, it is very close to the price of the RTR 164V whereas it undercuts the Hornet 2.0 by quite a bit. We have already experienced the sporty and sharp handling of the N250 in the Pune test. So we can safely say that this motorcycle as it uses the same tubular steel trellis frame will also be very agile in the city. The riding posture is slightly aggressive but it won't be an issue in multi-hour city rides or short tours in the highway. We don't have official mileage figures but estimates are around that 48 kilometers to 45 kilometers per liter. With the bigger fuel tank on the N160, this motorcycle has one of the highest ranges in its segment. We await the chance to ride this on the actual roads for a real road test and we will share our review when we get that opportunity. Thanks for watching.